Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video on the Casual Racing Gamer. Today, we are going racing the Daily Race B, but it will be my first race with my brand new setup here, the TGT2 and my open wheel. And I am loving this thing so far. I cannot imagine anyone picking this up and not being in love with it. This thing is just sweet. We are starting in fifth today. We are starting in fifth. Um, yeah, this is sweet. Um, the, the transducer, the vibrating vibrations, like everything going on with this. Like, like my next thing, like, like I'm so addicted to that that I would have to be like a Logitech, a Logitech, um, the 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 pro with with, with true force because because like I feel like I need that. Like anything going forward, I need it. Like every racing game, every sim game needs to support this thing. I know it's only supported in GT7 with this with this um with this wheelbase, but but like it it is so awesome. Everything needs to support it. I, I am just. It, I, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving the wheel. I, I, I think it's a great purchase. Um, I am happy. Um, I really want to try some direct drive wheels to compare because like this is super smooth. Like I'm not. There's no complaints about it. Everything is smooth. Everything runs great. The, the force feedback is awesome. Um, I, I, obviously, I'm loving it. But let, let, here we go. First race. Um, I just practiced the track today, so I'm not going to be the fastest. I'm not going to be the best. Um, so I might be a little bit of a struggle. Hopefully, you don't get wrecked by anybody and punted. Um, I'm just going to try to survive the race, try to focus on just running consistent, good laps, and just try to finish in an okay spot. Um, but that never happens usually, especially the first race, because I don't know what to expect really. Um, and now other cars are going to be driving on this track. And me, myself, you know, I'm not, I'm not great at it yet. Um, usually the more races I do on the same track, the better. But I, I figure, what the heck, let's hop into it. New wheel, new everything. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Five laps. Lots of places, lots of places we can wreck ourselves. So we got to definitely be careful. We got to stay focused. We're going to see how everyone's driving in front of us. Hopefully we don't get punted from behind. Gonna try to stay with this front pack here. We do have to be careful. We don't want to ram anyone from behind. So we're gonna check up a little early there. We already got someone bumping right there. So number three, we know number three is no problem bumping. As I forget to shift my gears, we got a little bump from behind, but that was actually my fault. There we go, coming through the chicane. We got a car, it looks like on our outside. So so hopefully he, he stays in his lane. I don't mind him. Oh, I don't know why he came up. I didn't think he was gonna come up into me. So I wasn't worried about where I was gonna break there, but he did come up to me, but I was not out to get him. Just, just a racing incident there. Gotta be careful on this turn here, losing the car. All right, first lap, not that bad. Not that, not a bad first lap. We'll see if we can start see if we can start losing the cars from behind. That would be good. And then we can just focus on things in front of us. Not a bad first lap, just settling in. Get it getting those 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 nerves out of the way. And now we'll just try to focus on running some good laps now. Let's see what we can do here. Running fifth, running fifth. Want to be careful not to lose the car here. Oh, we got wrecks going on. Don't come up. Okay, good. We passed them. All right, now we now we just got to really focus on running good. We got P3 right now. P3. It looks like cars are way behind, so... We're gonna, we're gonna just try to run some good consistent laps here and don't not not lose the car. But yeah, I'm I'm loving the wheel, guys. I'm I'm loving this wheel. Um, this this is my first actual race with it. Let me just get through this turn right here. Another spot where I can lose the car. This one makes me nervous right here. Taking that one very cautiously, very cautiously.
All right, so I'd rather be racing in someone's mirror than have them racing in my mirror. So we're all right here. We're all right sticking in a P3. So I definitely want to want to be careful. I don't want to lose P3. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to lose. Not even just P3. I, I don't want to finish bad being up here and just taking myself out. And I feel like we got a nice lead from anyone behind us, so there's no reason to drive crazy. Because I'm happy. I'm happy with a P3. Some people see P3 and they want to get to P2 and P1, but first race on the track, just getting a feel for it, getting a feel for the wheel in, in um, my wheel in, in a race. So you know, it's kind of just a learning learning thing right now. But yeah, everything everything feels great. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I love, I love the vibration, the, the transducer. You know, hopefully, hopefully someone in front makes a mistake that we can take that place. That, that's what we'll be looking for right now. But I'm not going to try to drive too aggressive to take that place and risk it. I don't want to risk anything right now. Got to be careful coming out there too. In practice, I've lost the car there a lot of times. I just lose the back end. Uh, my settings, I am running on... I'm running um, sensitivity on two right now. And... Uh, the torque is on five. We are on lap four or five still. Still looking good for a P3. It's feeling good. Everything's feeling good. I, yeah, I, I'm... You know, like, I, I, I want to try a direct drive wheel because I, I don't know how much better it can be. Like, that's, it, that's how good this wheel, this wheel feels. Oh, we got someone sneaking up behind us here. We got we to um, be careful now. I don't know where those guys came from. I guess that's what happens when you drive a little too careful. All right, he's on our tail. He's obviously faster than me. So I am not gonna challenge here. I am not gonna challenge. I'm gonna let him go. I'm not blocking, I am not challenging. He caught me from wherever he came from, so dude's got the speed. I ain't got the speed right now. We're on our last lap. If he makes a mistake, you know, we'll take that spot back. But otherwise, dude had the speed. Oh, oh, we have a wreck right there. There we go. See, that, that's what you got to, that's why you have to be patient. And that's why you just have to run consistently. Keep your car on the track and things like that happen with other drivers because they're worried about keeping their spot instead of just dropping one spot by getting passed by a fast car. They start driving a little too aggressively. But P3 is looking good as long as we stay on the track. So, you know, we're going to be a little careful. We're, we'll break earlier than normal because there's, there's no reason to lose our car now. So anyway, like I was saying, I, I really want to try a direct drive wheel because, like I said, I, I don't, how, I can't imagine how much better it can be than this wheel. This wheel feels great. Um, and just having the T300 last week um, that I returned it for this, um, this, this is a huge step up from the T300. Def definitely a huge step up. It just feels better. To me, it feels smoother. As we're going we're gonna to come in here on a P3. 
P3. I can't complain with a P3. That, that, that's, that's a good day. That's a good day. We didn't drive too aggressive here. We didn't, we didn't drive crazy. We didn't try to speed anywhere. We just try to stay out of trouble um, and then just run consistently. Uh, and we, we ended with a P3. So, that, that, you know, I always, I always preach consistent laps. Don't try to always just overtake people. Don't try to win the race. A car's faster than you coming from behind. Get out of the way. Um, but that was a great race. Um, I'm happy. P3. Let's go. Let's go. First day racing the track. First day learning the track. Um, my follow up, you know, initially right now, big, huge two thumbs up for the Thrustmaster TGT2. I am happy with the purchase. I am loving it. Um, I would recommend this setup to anybody. Of course, if you want to go direct drive, there's the other options. But, you know, um, subscribe. I, 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 I always don't, I don't push it much often. You know, subscribe, subscribe. But I would love if you guys would subscribe. So now's a good time. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this, you know, click that subscribe button if you're still hanging around. Um, thumb it up. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. All right, so this is going to be like a bonus feature. I was going to end the video with the GT7 race, and I and I and I had it all edited and everything, and I was completed and it was done. And I, then I hopped into some i racing um, on the next day, and I, and I was testing out some stuff with i racing and the TGT2, and I was like, I was so impressed with how this felt in i racing um, with the force feedback and everything. And we'll talk about it as as I hop into it. But I was like, I wanted to add it on. I wanted to add it on as like a bonus feature because I wanted this to be a complete video. Of a, of a true follow-up where I'm where I where I tested out the wheel a little, a little bit more and and after using iRacing I felt like I needed to I needed to add it to this video so first this is um just let me show you my settings this is the settings that I'm using um for the actual Thrustmaster app um so I have the default on um I moved it to 1080 on the rotation and then the gain settings this is what I have it set here 85 percent and then 100 um down here off for boost and the auto center settings for the game on the wheel. Um, set it set it by game. So that, that's my settings here. And then let me show you my settings I'm actually using in iRacing. So I have strength on 18.3. I have wheel force on 6.4. Um, smoothing zero, dampening zero, minimum force is at zero. Um, use linear mode. I had that unchecked. And these are just settings that I found online that that um that that I that I tested out and and it, and it, it felt sick actually. Let's let's um let's hop in. So so I haven't done I haven't done any kind of oval racing since I got GT7 and PSVR2. So I figured I'm gonna hop into this is the truck series. I'm gonna do hop into a practice session at Dover. Um, you know I figured the trucks have 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 a lot of rattling and and, and noise and, and 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 um feedback to them. So I figured that would be a pretty cool thing to test out. So we'll just hop into a practice session. Um, I'm not doing this in VR. I, I generally race i racing strictly in VR. But I'm just hopping in on on a 2D screen right now um, because this is more about just just the feedback right now. So so right right now in, in my wheel, my wheel has has is it's like bouncing. It's you can just and you can just see it like bouncing around right now. Right, you can you can just see it. You'll be able to see the the movements as as we start driving around here. Man, I haven't I haven't done oval in so long. So that, that was a good example of my my car flipping. Let's let's roll out again. <laughs> right right now my wheel has my wheel has has a lot of a lot of a lot of force a lot of feedback right now. It it is moving around. It is feeling the road, like like you are literally feeling like every little bump here. Um. And and you should probably be able to see it as as I'm driving around. Especially when we we really get up to speed here, and. Like, uh, like, there is so much feedback in this wheel right now. Man, it's been, it's been so long since I did Oval. I feel like I, I might have to I might have to do this race. I love Dover. It's such a fun track. Cars really race really close and fast. Very fun track to race. Got to be careful coming out of those turns, though. You can definitely lose it. So, like up here, you can just feel how how like how much movement there is in the in the actual road. See if we can pull a better time too. Like you can, you can just see my wheel moving around. The resistance in the wheel feels really good too. All right, let, let's um, let's just do do another couple laps here, and then I'm gonna hop into an open wheel. Oh, 
Oh. Coming into the wall. Coming in a little hot there. Yeah, you, you know, you coming out of that turn, you could just see the wheel like whip back, right? Like, like the detail in, in, in the wheel, the, 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 all the little nuances, it totally just, 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 you just, you just feel it. Um, something that I just don't feel in GT7, not saying that GT7 is bad or anything. It's just a whole different level of, of feedback that you're getting in the wheel, um, especially on the straights like that. Where, where I don't get that in GT7. Now, of course, I'm not getting that, the transducer vibration. Um, so, 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 you know, I'm, uh, th that would be really cool to have in, in iRacing too. So, so, you know, you are not getting that awesome, that awesome vibration feedback in, in your pedals and your, and, your, and your paddle shifters. But let me, um, I'm gonna hop into, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop into, um, I'll hop into a quick road, road track and just do the little test there too. All right, let's do let's do a quick lap around Laguna Seca in a in an open wheel. I say quick; it's not going to be quick. I'm going to actually take it a little slow because I'm not used to driving this car around this track. But I just wanted to get a little more feedback from like an open wheel car here, and like just there, like everything that you see on my actual screen when that wheel's wobbling, I'm getting that same feedback and sensation in my actual wheel itself. I'm not used to driving this car either, so. This might not be so pretty. But th there's so many little little nuances that, that you can feel in this wheel as you're driving. All the little bumps. Taking, I'm just taking it really slow, obviously. I'm just, just want to get a feel. Like everything just, it just feels, feels really good. All right, guys. So I definitely wanted to show that. Um, I, I wanted, I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, the, the feedback in iRacing on, on, on the TGT2, it feels great. It feels wonderful. It feels definitely stronger than GT7. Um, you, you feel a lot of those little road nuances. Um, all those little light, light bumps in the road, your, your wheels kind of like every little movement, your wheels moving. When you see that wheel move on the screen for every little bump in there, um, that, that wheel is moving. Um, you know, they do, they do use laser scan tracks in iRacing. So all those bumps are captured in the game, um, which is, which makes it really cool. So all those bumps that you would feel at the real track, if you took a race car to the real track, they are laser scanned into actual iRacing. So so that that's something that's really pretty awesome. But the feedback in iRacing it, like very powerful, very strong, um feels great. You can definitely feel the car well. And and iRacing I know isn't even known as, as one of the best sims for for force feedback. Um but but like it, it just it feels really good. Like really really good. So I just wanted to throw that in here. But like yeah, for iRacing, um even though you, the transducer doesn't doesn't work in iRacing and you don't have that vibration, um, there's so much little nuances when you're driving that it almost feels like like you are getting like like full full feedback the whole time you're driving because there's so much little nuances in a lot of these roads and using these cars that that you something always feels like it's moving so that that's just something to 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 just note there but um now hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that was just a little bonus hopping into some i racing um for you pc racers out there and hopefully you enjoyed the video um definitely leave a comment below thumb it up subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one we out of here peace